Transport for New South Wales Chief Executive Howard Collins. Uh, Howard, uh, good to see you. Thanks for your time. How busy is it going to be? As you know, Harry Styles uh, tonight with the Sydney Kings as well. We've got a repeat performance from Harry on Saturday. We've got Jay Chow. We've got, uh, obviously, the Backstreet Boys there as well. So we expect 110, maybe 120,000 in the Olympic Park Stadium. Plus, of course, the Harbour Bridge closes on Sunday for, the, for a great World Pride ceremony. Bondi Beach Party on Saturday night as well. There is so much going on. Our advice is get there early. Gates open tonight. Uh, you can get your merch from 8 o'clock, but gates open to get into the stadium at 5 p.m. Get there early and use public transport. All the car park spaces are full. They're booked. And uh, certainly uh, make sure you get to transport on time. We will get you back there as well. Uh, trains running directly from Central and will be running all the way just past midnight. OK, well... Uh 120,000, that sounds to me like there could be a lot of frustrated people, Howard, so no doubt you're urging patience, but just back up on what options are avail available for folks. Well, there's a direct service from Central, plenty of trains every three or four minutes uh, into the Olympic Park, special buses as well. Last weekend, thanks to everyone, we had a really smooth weekend for Ed. Ed Sheeran, uh, and we shifted 85, 90,000 uh, very well in an hour and a half. Yes, there are queues. Remember those days when we used to go to events a few years ago before COVID? Wait in line, we'll move you through safely. Please, uh, just a little patience. Our staff are there to help you, and I'll be out there on Saturday night just making sure everything runs smoothly. But the advice is travel by public transport, get there early. And if you don't have to leave the stadium straight away, I've been told by the boss of the stadium that there, there will be, the bars will be still open, and you can enjoy okay. yourself, and hopefully not much of a queue. Well, I mean, that can be the problem, isn't it? And we saw this with the Red Hot Chili Peppers recently. You know, you've got people arriving at various stages, but when people leave, it tends to be at the same time. Time, that's when things do get clogged. So, so how are you mixing things up this time to get people out of there as fast as you can? Well, the best way often to get out of the stadium is by using public transport. I've been there by car once or twice and, you know, you spend sometimes an hour queuing down to get out. So, um, and if you need to ensure that you get your seat, I'd say get there around 5, 6 o'clock. You know, the venue really kicks off around 7, 7.30 but uh, allow extra time. There will be plenty of people to guide you on the way. And the other thing is, if you've got a ticket to the Sydney Kings, Harry Styles, Bondi Beach Party, um, and the walk, your, tic your ticket is your authority to travel. So you don't have to worry. It's part of the integrated ticketing, as you call that. Okay. And that speeds things up as well. Good one. Howard Collins, Transport for New South Wales CEO. Appreciate it. Thank you for that.